autopilot of the Airbus A320, A330, A340, A350 and A380 all have a similar layout and the position in the cockpit is the same. In fact, on most airliners its position is the same, and that is in the middle of the cockpit below the windscreen. You can get to it in flight gear, by moving around the pilot view, or by using a different view that gives you more detail. Let's begin with the main autopilot toggle buttons, and then go from left to right. Here you see AP1 and AP2, they act as a backup for each other, which means that they both do the same thing, but for more complex scenarios like an automatic landing, both autopilots are engaged to monitor each other to increase safety. On typical flying though, the general guideline is that AP1 is used when the captain is flying the plane, and AP2 is used when the first officer is flying the plane. Below the AP buttons, there's the AT button, or the auto throttle button. There's only one for that. Now before I explain everything from left to right, you should know that all the elements of the autopilot, speed, heading and altitude, have two settings. One is to do exactly what you have selected on this panel, and the other is to follow the commands of the flight computer, which allows for flying routes you've entered in the system. This second setting is called the managed mode. For each element, you can toggle between the two settings by clicking on the corresponding knob, like this. On a typical cruise flight, the autopilot will look pretty much like this. Now all the way on the left is the button that lets you switch between knots and max speeds. This screen tells you what speed the plane will try to hold when the auto throttle is enabled. Right next to that, there's the heading hold. When the heading hold is not on managed mode, it will make the plane fly towards the heading displayed here. If you press the localizer button here, the heading will be ignored and the plane will fly towards the VOR or ILS you've entered. Next to that, you'll find the altitude and vertical speed selectors. On the Airbus autopilot, these are more connected to each other than on the Boeing's autopilot. If you set the altitude here, you also have to set the vertical speed. There's not really a thing like the flight level change mode, even though the expat button does something like that in real life, I believe, but in flight gear that button doesn't seem to change anything about the vertical speed. Anyway, so to change your flight level when the autopilot is on, you have to set both the target altitude and the vertical speed you'd like to hold. If you want to scroll through the altitudes faster, you might want to turn this thing to 1000, just like on the Boeing autopilot. Then finally here's the approach button. This overrides the altitude and vertical speed modes and will follow the glide slope towards the runway if you're using ILS. So let's take a look at a short takeoff scenario, just like in the last how to, you guys seem to like that. For a typical takeoff, a speed of 250 knots will be fine. Set the heading to the runway setting and set the altitude to your target altitude. Then, depending on the plane's weight, set the vertical speed. Something around 2000 will do, but you can tweak it a bit once you enable the autopilot anyway. If you have set up a departure plan on the flight computers, you can already set the heading mode on managed. Now you're ready for takeoff. Once you're on a steady manual climb, you can activate the auto throttle and the autopilot. Play around with the vertical speed knob until you're slowly building up speed while climbing. You can simply enter the headings and altitudes you're getting from the ATC if you're flying online. And once you're ready to fly the route you've entered, you can set the autopilot on the managed mode. The A330 and A320 families have realistically simulated flight computers in flight gear as I've mentioned in the review of the A330-200. If you're doing a serious gate-to-gate -gate flight, you should program the flight computers before leaving the gate and fill in all the flight and route information. You can find some detailed tutorials about the flight computers at the YouTube channel Flight Gear Airbus. I recommend checking those out if you're interested. 
And that's pretty much the basics of the A330 Autopilot. If this helped you out, please be sure to give this video a like to let me and others know. Thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with more flight gear videos.